You know how people, when they're talking about going to the gym and getting involved in fitness and exercise and stuff, they'll say things like, I know I hear this a lot, they'll say things like, oh, you just have to fall in love with the process, or you have to trust the process, or just learn to enjoy the process. It's almost become uh, cliche at this point. I mean, there's a lot of cliches when it comes to this stuff, but uh, things that are repeated ad nauseum, and I just wanted to explain what they mean when they say that. Really what they mean is uh, we have to trust the process or enjoy the process of exercising or going to the gym because there's not an immediate payoff, uh, at least in the beginning. And you know, as you do it more and more, you start to become more acquainted with the feeling that you get after exercising, and it's a good feeling. You get all those healthy chemicals like dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, norepinephrine, all the good ones. And as you work out more and more, you start to become more aware of like how that makes you feel. So sometimes that can be the thing that is the immediate payoff after a workout, and uh, something that you'll you'll start to you'll start to uh, recognize as you do it more and more. But in the beginning, it kind of sucks. Um, working out in the beginning, it's not very much fun, and there isn't really an immediate payoff. So instead of saying something as nebulous. As, and as vague as trust the process or fall in love with the process, I would say, you know, not only try to make it fun and engaging, um, do it with a friend, that sort of thing, but also when you're done actively and intentionally have a, a sense of accomplishment and think of uh, the accomplishment in and of itself and have a, you know, a source of pride associated with that. And for a lot of people, that can be the immediate payoff for working out, okay? It's just checking the box, it's showing up. That's why it's a good idea not to do too much too quickly because just the act of doing it can make you feel really good and really satisfied when you're done. You know, even if you tell yourself you're gonna go walk on the treadmill for 10 minutes, you feel good afterwards because you've earned credibility with yourself. You said you were gonna do something and then you kept a promise to yourself. And when we do that, we feel a sense of self-efficacy. We feel like we're in charge of our lives. We feel like we're uh, capable and competent, and we are. And that's the practice associated with exercise. So when people say trust the process, that's what they mean. It's figuring out a way to enjoy the work and to have a source of pride afterwards so that you continue doing it. And uh, yeah, so if you ever hear that fall in love with the process quote and you're rolling your eyes, uh, I get it, I totally get it. But uh, if we reframe it in a way of just you know recognizing that it's good to do the things that are nice for ourselves, we tell ourselves we're gonna do it and then we act on that and we, we act in congruence with what we tell ourselves, we tell ourselves that we're gonna do and uh, that helps create this identity around doing the things that we do. Instead of, you know, I'm a person who exercises occasionally, it's like, no, exercise is just a part of my routine. This is what I do. I exercise regularly. So I hope that helps. And um, yeah, it's going to be different for everybody. So find your version. And if you need more help, more specific guidance, feel free to hit me up, shoot me a message, and I'd love to chat with you. All right. Have a great day and bye.